Well, now called Bandai Pull to Capcom, re-releasing Naruto Storm 3 as Naruto Storm 3 Full Burst for 360, PS3, and PC. Good news is that it's coming to PC, so you know people can mod it. Maybe they'll mod new stages, new outfits, whatever. If Namco or CC2 decided to release modding tools or modding suite for the game, that would be tight. Unfortunately, I don't have a gaming PC, so I wouldn't be able to play it on that platform. Bad news is that the DLC, since they're including a significant amount of content, a whole story sequence, the new, char new character Sage Kabuto, hopefully they'll include Itachi with Izanami, Izanami as his ultimate. Plus they said something about 100 missions, whatever that means. That DLC will probably cost around, around $14.99, probably. These beautifully enhanced and revamped cinematics, man. The after scene just look like everything darker. I don't understand. <laughs> it doesn't look beautifully enhanced. The before scene actually looks better to me. Plus they got all the DLC costumes. Yeah, it's gonna be around $14.99. So I basically, I basically got duped. I got tricked into buying PS3. Naruto Storm 3 for sixty dollars. Sixty dollars. I don't even. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna spend fifteen dollars on this DLC. You talking about seventy five dollars? That's if it's fifteen. If it's twenty, you talking about eighty dollars for Naruto? For Naruto though. <laughs> for Naruto though. I don't know. I don't know though. I don't know. What else, man? I'm hoping. I'm hoping that they announce within the next two to three months. That they'll also be including the Edo Kages. Because I mean, the Edo Kage is already halfway finished, man. Like, you got the move set, make up some ultimate jutsu for him, put him in the game. I mean, how, how hard can that be? Really? Since you already including the whole new story sequence and a new character. Don't tell me you can't do no DLC for Edo Kages again. Because you lied. You lied. Because you're doing one now with Sage Kabuto. So I don't want to hear it. But with the release coming to PC as well, and Steam. You know what that means. What's the golden rule of Steam? Don't buy a game until sale. Now they're going to be able to get it super cheap. Super cheap. Uh, this put me in a dilemma, man. At first I wanted to get PS4, but now it's like the only reason that I want to buy PS4 right away was so I could debut or so I could record the Naruto games, whatever Naruto series they decide to go with for next generation consoles. But now they're probably going to release it all on Xbox One, PS4, and PC at the same time, right? So now I got debate. Do I want to get the PS4 still, or do I want to get a gaming PC? If I get the gaming PC, I'll also be able to upload more videos, more gaming videos, more frequently. Because I mean, this laptop I got, it ain't, it ain't nothing. Dual core, Intel HD 3000 graphics, it ain't nothing. That's why I don't upload a lot of gameplay, because it takes too long to rent. But with Steam though, with Naruto coming to Steam, that changes it up, that changes it up, man. I don't know. I don't know. So what do you think of the announcement? Are you excited for the new DLC? If you haven't gotten Naruto Storm 3 yet, will you now be getting it with the release of Full Burst, presumably in December? What platform will you get it on? Will you get it on 360, PC, PS3? Are you excited about the modding opportunities? I mean, you know you know somebody going to crack the game anyway, so if you're on, PSC, if you're on PC and you pirate, you probably will get it free anyway. I'm not in endorsing pirating. I'm not condoning poverty. I'm just saying, people know how to do it. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, send you Chicago, baby. And that's how we do it.